song on the new Van Halen album called Right Now, and it's got a line in it. It says, reach out and grab the moment right here, right now. Merry Christmas, Dallas, from Van Halen! What's up, Texas?
Uh, hey, dig it, man. I don't know. You people way in the back and shit. I hope you can hear all right. Ah, uh, fuck. This is great, man. This is real shit. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna put on the guitar here you now, and uh, the only reason why I put this guitar on is number one, it's an old Hagar tune. Number two, it's fucking, I make Eddie play better when I put the guitar on. I give him some competition, kick him in the ass a little bit. You know what I mean? That's right. Well, let's get on with it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs>
Shit, you people, man, don't, don't hurt these people up here in front, man. You fucking people. I mean, we don't want you to relax or nothing, but shit, man, take it easy on these people in front. They're getting fucked up. They're getting fucked up. So how's it, man? God damn, look at are there, there? I don't know what this is, but are there people that like work in these buildings right now? Can you imagine some secretary up there typing up some letter about some shit? Ain't gonna work. Come on, get out of them buildings and rock and roll with us now. Well, I just want to say that this is probably the happiest moment of our lives here when it comes, yeah, when it comes to like playing music because there's nothing better than a free concert, number one and number two, nothing better than making good a promise, man, okay? Hey, we're going to start over after, after today, man. We're going to break even in Dallas and we'll be back, you know? Anyway, hope you all having fun. Let's all have fun. Let's get on with some runaround. <laughs>
So, how far back does this shit go way back there? I mean, how about way the hell back there? You people back there, let me hear you. Way back there. Can't hear a fucking thing. This is way cool though, I'd say. Now let me ask you people a question. Somebody over here told me about something. Now who the fuck is Cotton Eye Joe? What is that shit? What the fuck is Cotton Eye Joe, man, huh? Is that some dance or some shit? Is that anything like the Cabo Wobble or anything? Some old fucked up dance? What is it? Shit, my dad was born in Texas. I never heard no Cotton Eye Joe, you know what I mean? We don't have a set list we're going by. We're just kind of playing songs that feel like playing. Maybe Fitz. Tell Fitz maybe. So we're going to do, well, we're going to do, uh, uh, we're going to do, uh, <laughs> hey, this is too fucking early for me to be singing, but you know what? It's all right, man. I'll blow my voice out now. I don't give a fuck after today. This is the shit. It's too early to be drinking too, but I'm doing that also, so fuck. Let's get on it.
Say, Edward, you got to come up because I can't get down. I'm fucked. Well, you guys play whatever you want. I'm kind of stuck up here. What do you want to play out? Go ahead, go ahead. Let's get back to 1984 one time.
You know, I don't know how long they're going to let us play today, but we're just going to play, I guess, until we have to stop. But, uh, shit, I don't know, you people having a good time? Is it all right out there? Well, the way I figure is if anybody doesn't like the show or something, just ask for your money back at the ticket booth, you know what I mean? One by one. 
Uh, they're getting about ready to shut us down. We're going to try to squeeze in about three more songs for you, all right? We're going to do some driving, all right? <laughs> Break! 
Okay, dig it. We're gonna do one more song and they're gonna shut us down. And uh, before we stop though, I wanna say a couple things to you people. First of all, I wanna thank Redbeard for keeping the spirit alive about the free concert, all right? Yeah. Second of all, Louis Messina from Pace Concerts. That man tried every year to get this free concert to happen for us and he made it happen and uh, that's fucking great. The next thing is I wanna thank you people for waiting for us this long. We love you, we're coming back to Dallas sometime in, I don't know, February or something, but we're coming back here. And for all you people, you know, from Houston and fucking San Antonio, Beaumont, I don't know where you came from, but uh, it's the state of Texas and God bless you people, you're fucking wonderful, we love you. Drive home safe when you go home, be careful, don't hurt yourself, all right? There's a song, it's about, it's about life when it's good. Sing this chorus with us, it'll make it feel so fucking good you can't stand it. Hey, baby.
Thank you. We'll see you in February. We love you people, man. God bless you. Drive home careful, okay? Love you, man. Great. That's the most fun I've had in a long time. It was real and it was honest. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I'll be all right. <laughs> what, are we supposed right. to pass these around or just leave them? Go right ahead. Uh, we got here last night about 4 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we're burnt. Sam, hey, want to play around? No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. Now, uh, we haven't, we usually don't play this time of the day, so it's like, this will probably be the first of two free concerts. <laughs> we just thinking about waking up at this hour. No, no. If that were the case, we wouldn't play for free. We need the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. No, it's just strictly because I lost my voice in Texas Jam for seventy-seven thousand paid 
people, and I couldn't sing, and I felt so bad out there on the stage. I felt so stupid. They would keep our promises. Yeah, that I, I made a, a stupid state stop the show, no less. You know, it wasn't like just mumbling over <laughs> music, and said, you know, we'll come back to a free concert. We've been trying to do it ever since. And when you promise people that, much less in Texas, you, you got to be a man of your word, otherwise you're history. So we're doing it because we want to make good for. A, a bad show. It wasn't a bad show. It was just I couldn't sing. No, we're here because, because the band Sammy was great that night. So I'm gonna just do it today. So <laughs> see, well, see, we love Sammy so much. We're sticking with him. We're gonna we're gonna play some music for him. What are you gonna sing. Oh, we're gonna have live. Yeah, we're yeah. just gonna go out and play. Uh, well, however long they let us play, I guess an hour or so. Just gonna go out there and have fun for a while, huh? God, you no. better not. I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> live and learn. No, I'm. You know, we're making a big joke out of it. I think this is, I'm more excited about this doing this than any show on the whole tour. You know, if you could play free all, I mean, this costs us about, probably over $100,000 to do this. Otherwise, we'd do it every night. I'd rather play free than charge money, personally. But I can't make a living that way. What would you like to say to the fans? A lot of people out here would What would like to say to them? Yeah. See, when we got pull up. Oh, no. <laughs> I have a picture here that uh -oh. I cannot have, but I'd like to know if you claim this to yourself. I've had this since I was seven years old. Whoa! <laughs> Look that was at a the young Sammy Hagar, 1976. That's look at them boots. Look at, seven look at, at them work. boots. Hey, you look like Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can he sing? <laughs> Give me that. Can, can he sing? He can sing. Of That's great. He can sing. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't doing free concerts back then. <laughs> you know, Thanks, Sammy. Thanks. Cool. Sammy, you Thank you very much. During this concert. And that's what I said, maybe one of two. Back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'll lose my voice. I mean, this early in the day, no one can sing great, I don't think. So I just won't sing great. I just say, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just go out there. I can dance better now. See, I've taken a dan <laughs> dance lesson since then. For me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to keep it quiet up until today when we were allowed to announce it? Well, if when we play here live and charge 30 bucks or whatever, and there's 77,000 people, if you do a free concert, it should be about 700,000 people, and the city wouldn't go for it. So they wouldn't. They, we almost got the plug pulled by not doing it, I mean, by announcing it the night before. They didn't want us to announce it until just, an hour they wanted us just to come out and start doing it, yeah, an hour, yeah, before. an hour before. But that's unfair to the people that drove from Beaumont and from, uh, you know, Austin and all the places Either. in Texas for the Texas Jam. They have to have time to get here, too, because they bought tickets for that show. So, so we need to blame the city Dallas. There you go. Well, no one's to blame. <laughs> no. It ain't our fault. There's plenty of people out there, believe me. Is Texas important to the band? Yeah. Every place is important. Yeah. Uh, our music is, I think, is, is, uh, is something that comes from our hearts, and a lot of people relate to it. So wherever we are on a particular day is the most important place on the planet. Yeah. Well, my father was from Texas. I'm, I've got Texas blood in me, so yeah, Texas is real cool, <laughs> I think. How about you? What do you think about playing? Huh? Tell us about playing here in Dallas today. Well, I hope it's going to be fun. <laughs> do you need people out there? <laughs> It's really just another show, but it's what makes it special. So because it's free, it kind of takes the pressure off us. We don't have to do anything. It's like complain, want your money back. You know, it's kind of there's just a freedom involved and an unpressured situation. Samples? No, we play. We played the Cabo Wobble Cantina our Club in Mexico for the same thing. Played a couple nights down there. People didn't even know who it was. They just walked in and. It's turned out like this there? Well, 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 we did, yeah. Nice. <laughs> we had about 5,000 people, and the place only holds about 500, so it was kind of town. Town in Cabo, 5,000 down there, it looks like what it looks. <laughs> it's, over there. it's all that fit in our town. But the point is, is that it was a lot of fun playing with no pressure. A lot of fun. Aren't you going to do some songs that you normally wouldn't do? Probably. No, we're going to do some songs. We're not going to do some songs we normally do. <laughs> because we play two and a half, three hours, and, and uh, we can't play that long because the city won't let us, so we're going to just kind of do, just straight ahead, we're going to just play through the set until they make us stop. Can you give us a little bit of a acapella right now? How much you are? Okay. <laughs> I just love my baby's pound cake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, come on. There it is. There, it there is. we go. There we go. <laughs> yes, sir. No, thanks. <laughs> you got any Tabasco for that? <laughs> any other promises? Okay, we better take it. This is why you eat pound cake. Hey, that's pretty good. Who made it? <laughs> Usually from this angle. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> All right. Mm, we made a mess. Uh,
<laughs> oh, no, oh, now it's looking good. Maureen? <laughs> hey, you want to do one? Wow! We're just gonna take a picture here. Um, we are. Okay. But last statement. I think this is real cool. Not uh, not us. I think right. we're gonna go out there. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun. What are we gonna do? Stand together. Let's let this go and talk about taking a couple four shots, please. Let you get on some of it. <coughs> let you get on some of that. How'd you close last time? Too good, I had to stop it, man. People were trying to take advantage of me. But really. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm, I'm back in the band again. <laughs> we're wearing the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of mine. I got them on. Things don't change. Mikey, well, well, I got my own clothes on. Go here. Huh? I don't know why the city's making you stop playing after an hour. I don't think. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Know. We'll see if they make a stop. Still. <laughs> they 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 if they yeah. don't, basically, you know, until we run out of songs, something's got to happen. <laughs> One more question, you guys. I mentioned how you feel about Texas. How do you feel about Oklahoma? I haven't played there lately. No. Oh, you gotta ask us when we're there. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> How well did you guys know each other during Rock, Oklahoma? I was just gonna say I was on the same show with yeah. Dan Halen back then. 1980. And, and I met Ed there. I'd already met Ed, but Ed came in. We had a little bullshit session. I was sick as a dog there too. Boy, I got this bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had strep throat, and I was flying around doing shows and got infection in my ears and sinuses, and I was wiped. How do you feel right now? Great. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you worry about security? You worry about security at all? Is this kind of a crowd is close? No, our fans don't want to hurt us, man. They, they don't. They just, they're cool. We got the best fans in the world. Man. That's, that's no, right. That's no bullshit. You know, we don't need bodyguards and stuff, you know, because they just want to come up and give you five. You know, they don't want to kick your ass like France or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, they're going to get on stage, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see you all out there. <laughs> okay, the, the, uh... <laughs> Forty to 60,000 people packed into the west end of Dallas to listen to a free rock concert by the group Van Halen. As Texas News 5's Marty Griffin reports, fans wanted more, but the band had to quit before the crowd got out of control. <laughs> It's loud, it's rowdy, it's out of control rock and roll. Thousands of people packed into Dallas's West End Marketplace for a free Van Halen concert. And the band convinced the large crowd wouldn't bring trouble with it. Our fans don't want to hurt us, man. They, they don't. They just, they're cool. This 1988 Texas jam show at the Cotton Bowl actually brought the band to Texas today. Four years ago, lead singer Sammy Hagar couldn't sing. So he promised to play for free the next time the band was here. Plus, band members have family in Texas. Well, my father was from Texas. I'm, I've got Texas blood in me, so yeah, Texas is real cool, <laughs> I think. Texas may be cool, but for a while, police worried this crowd could get ugly. An ambulance barely got through to get to an injured woman. Some folks had too much to drink and too much to say to police. However, there were only three injuries and three arrests for minor offenses. Uh, we had a few disturbances, but, you know, everything went pretty well. For the most part, police were pleased with the crowd and how it acted, and the crowd was pleased with we the went. show. It was worth coming out here, yeah. even though I almost got wow. killed. Freebies, you know, <laughs> you can't complain. Free to the public, maybe, but the show cost the band close to $100,000 to put on. One band member said that's an expensive price for keeping a promise. Marty Griffin, Texas News 5. Many rock concerts across the country have been marred by violence and injuries, some of them fatal. Police credit today's lack of trouble to some luck and to a crowd control plan. And Texas News 5's Craig Marks shows us how that worked. By concert time, tens of thousands of Van Halen fans have crammed into the West End for the free concert. But it is really scary. Most concert goers, like Alicia Romine, are caught in the crowd side by side, packed like sardines. 
people are going to end up getting trampled. I mean, it's getting wild. People not packed in on the pavement climb anything in sight for a better view. Meantime, a couple hundred Dallas police officers and private security patrol inside and outside a barricaded perimeter. Our strategy was to set up a perimeter of officers and uh, try to do everything to ensure the public safety and to keep arrests to a minimum. The perimeter allows police to control the crowd and alcohol consumption. A minimum of arrests frees up police for major emergencies. That's why police made only three arrests, despite some fistfights and other disorderly conduct. All the problems that we've had down here has been pretty minor. We've had a, a few people to get intoxicated, but nothing really big. The biggest concern for authorities is how to get inside the crowd in an emergency. But here they successfully rescue a woman with a broken rib after being trampled by the crowd. The only thing I would change is I wouldn't have a concert of this size letting out in downtown Dallas during rush hour. City officials say next time they'll ask for a location other than the West End. So next time they won't have to say luck played any part in the success of a free big name concert. Craig Marks, Texas News 5. City officials say next time they'll also insist on knowing the name of the band long before the concert starts. The special events permit granted for today's concert did not name the band. Dallas is West End today and all for a free rock concert. <laughs> Concert co-sponsor Dallas Alley estimates as many as 50,000 people showed up for Van Halen, although Dallas police estimate it was closer to 20 to 40,000 people. The rock group came to fulfill an obligation that dates back to the 1988 Texas Jam, when lead singer Sammy Hager suffered a sore throat. He promised Van Halen would return with a free concert. We've been trying to do it ever since, and when you promise people that much less in Texas, you, you got to be a man of your word, otherwise you're history. This is the biggest concert ever held in the West End, but police report a fairly incident-free event with no arrests and only seven people requiring medical attention, all of them for dehydration.